Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial of the Ordinary Gift Limited. In today's video, we're going to design a simple banner background using a watercolor in Adobe Illustrator. Um, this watercolor was actually designed with um, a brush tool in Illustrator. Um, you, you must not use a square background in any artwork you're designing in Illustrator. You could use the watercolor shapes like you can see here. So at the end of this video, if you find it interesting, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also please um, click the like button. So let's get started. So we first of all, we start by creating um, a file. I mean, let's go to file, new. So you could choose any of these uh, custom background. Um, let's use um, 1000 by um, 700 pixels because um, I want something more of a square background. Maybe 1000 by 800 by 800 pixel, and um, we leave the orientation to uh, the shape which is landscape and. Um, just forget about the bleeds, okay? You leave the RGB color to, I mean, the color mode to RGB, okay? And the height to 300. You click on create. So now that we've created a new document for our artwork, the first thing we have to do here is to um, use this uh, rectangle tool to draw a square. So we need to remove this stroke color. We need to cancel this stroke color. And we need to use um, a global color um, for this brown color. And but we need to make sure it's, it's in global, that this global, you know, checkbox is checked. And let's click OK. And we need to go to opacity and reduce it to maybe 50 percent. 50%, I mean yeah or something you know yeah something like this is okay yeah something like this is okay so we're leaving the opacity at uh, 69 so we can go to this layer panel to lock this this uh, rectangle we lock it here so the next thing for us to do is to use this um, um pen tool you know to draw any irregular shape okay in next video I'm, I'm going to teach you how to master how to use your pen tool to draw I mean I'm, I'm going to that's going to be another video I'm going to do for you so just any regular shape will do it mustn't be regular any regular shape so I think this will this can this will do now So we first of all need to remove the stroke color of this. You go to properties. Um, okay, the stroke color is already removed. Um, I also need to. We also need to reduce the opacity of this. Um, we could make it fifty. Yeah, something like this is okay. And um, let's change the the fill color to something lighter than the background, or probably something darker than the background. Now this is okay. And the, the the opacity is still the same here. Um, we could give it forty. Let's just give it forty. So what we have to do is to make this shape more irregular. I mean, you know, um, you could just uh, use this direct selection tool, yeah, and um, just put any shape, any regular shape you want, just to make it look. Uh, I mean kind of a you know, you know any shape like I said um any regular shape you know we could yeah something like this okay yeah something like this uh -huh. so now that we've created this irregular shape we need to select it we need to duplicate this shape okay remember that we've also cancelled the stroke color so with control C Control V. So when we duplicate this shape, we could uh, reduce the size by holding the Shift key. 
completing it in the middle or somewhere and changing this fuel color we need to change this fuel color to um probably something you know light let's go for this this color that's okay and the same 40 percent which is okay and you also need to duplicate this again do your normal duplicate you know just to to make it look a little bit um, different from each other and let's use this this color this color is okay and we could increase the opacity of this one to probably let's just give it 50 50 percent opacity so that's this basically it it mustn't be something uh um unique or beautiful you know anything any any regular shape if you like you could use you can use that so we need to group this together and use it to create a brush so we group this together okay so this has been grouped together and we've positioned it like this so the next thing to do is to go to brushes uh, panel and click on this plus sign see this small plus sign you're looking at you click on it and you click on add brush and you click on ok so we want it to face this direction okay so another thing you have to do is to come here to this uh, brush scale options and uh, make sure you click on the scale proportionately and and that's it then you come here to method and change it to tints so changing it to tints will enable you to change the color layer to any background color that you wish to use um in your artwork so you click ok so that's it and there's another also way i'm also going to teach you um how to if you want this shape to remain permanently here without changing so let's let's move this aside anyway so you if you want to save this in so if you want to save this this brush and um, what you have to do is you come here to this letter m brush libraries menu okay and click on save brushes so you could name it anything it will just take you directly to your brushes folder and you can name it anything so for me i, I need to um name this um irregular shape let me just name it irregular regular shape so you click ok and that way this brush has been saved for you if you want to make sure i mean to uh, to check whether actually that this changed this saved for you just come back here to this same menu and go to user defined brushes you see the name you see the irregular shape so it's permanently saved here you can always use it anytime any day during your artwork okay so let's go back to our main um this today so like this is already highlighted so the next thing we have to do is to choose this go to this say paint brush okay and make the first drawing yeah that's it so you could if you like you could uh, um change this color again to something maybe darker even more and you've changed it to something darker that's it you know um you just bring this inside here yeah? so you can also you keep just changing let's change it to something even more darker um so you come here so we need to yeah this it yeah so So don't worry about this this uh, don't worry don't worry about it we're going to take them all inside so just shift shift it inside if you like even when you're changing saving your your artwork when you finish designing and you want to save your artwork um it won't even um you're going to save only within this this background this um um square background so these ones are not going to be affected so um let's let's change into another darker color because our background is dark so let's change save and change into this and uh, and you could uh, just come here and do 
this okay to me it is okay so now that we've 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 created this uh, watercolor background the next thing for us to do is to start typing you can now close this okay up and you start typing so let's let's go to, to use this type tool to to write um we come here and change to change this to probably 20 20 points so 30 points So you can just write because this is a wedding banner okay just say welcome so let's change the the font So let's write welcome to our wedding right now. Welcome to our wedding. So you you choose a different um a different font okay so and let's reduce this to 40 so you write something welcome to our wedding you write the names of them let's see like so I want to use a font called uh, hello and I need to increase this to One twenty, one twenty is okay. Mike, um, and you could use uh, a plus sign. Because this is a banner, this needs to be a little bit bold. So we can now put the date of the event. Um, we say 20th of 5, 2021. So we need to reduce this to. And change the font to something else. So let's make it a little bit bold. So to save this artwork, you simply go to File, you go to Export, you go to Save for Web. You need to save it in a transparent background. Okay. So that's it. This is basically that. So we need to be um. You make sure that you select um, the name to be PNG, yeah. And what I like doing is sometimes I like uh, changing this to, you know, kind of black, you know, something like that. But it's still within the same uh, PNG, and you click on save and save the artwork, save it, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So this is it. This is our final design file. This is it. So feel free to use any shape you want. Feel free to use any color you want. You could use even a brighter color, whatever color you want that you deem fit, that you prefer or that your client need, your, your client has asked for. You could use that by because you've already changed the, the watercolor, the artwork um, to tint. So it will allow you to change to any color that you wish to. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you find this interesting, please subscribe to this channel and please click that like button for us. Thank you very much.